Hi everyone, this is lecture 16 in analog circuits. In this lecture, we will discuss about the biased negative clampers. Before that, we will see what we have discussed in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we have discussed how the capacitor charges in a network, so which is RC network, we can say. And uh, we have seen the capacitor charges exponentially with respect to the time constant tau. So tau is equal to RC. So this is the DC voltage we are applied. The capacitor should charge up to this DC value. So it is increasing exponentially. So this is the equation we got. And when we draw this uh, waveform, so we got something like this. At t is equal to 0, the capacitor voltage will be 0. See this expression. So when we substitute t is equal to 0, e power minus 0 will be 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. So that means initially the capacitor is at 0 volts. As the time is progressing, the capacitor charges exponentially, right? So this is exponentially increasing because there is a constant as 1. So 1 minus e power minus t by tau, right? Now and, uh, we have seen at t is equal to tau, there is one time constant. The capacitor charges approximately 63% of the final value. And at t is equal to phi tau, the capacitor charges approximately 99% of the final value. So generally we will take at t is equal to phi tau, the capacitor reaches to its final value. And also we have seen, when we make this voltage as 0, now the capacitor will act as a source to this resistor and the capacitor will discharge through this path. Again here, the capacitor discharges exponentially to 0. So this is the initial value that is V because it is already charged to V and when we remove this voltage source or we make 0, then the capacitor is now acting as a source and it will uh, uh, discharge to 0 again. So this is a V into E power minus T by tau. If the time constant is very small, it will quickly discharges. If the time constant is very large, it will slowly discharges. So again at T is equal to tau, it will be discharged to 36.7% of the initial value. right? So if our time constant is very large, so we will get the waveform as something like this. If time constant is very small, so it will be quickly discharged to 0. And here also, if the time constant is very large, the capacitor slowly charges. right? When the time constant is very small, so it will quickly charges to its final value and so on. So this is what we have seen in the previous lecture. And also we have seen the unbiased negative clamper. So this is the circuit we have seen. So there should be a capacitor and diode. So we have to take the output across the diode. So when we apply a square waveform, the analysis will be very simple. That is per positive half cycle, the diode will be on. So it will behave like a short circuit. Then the output will be zero. So whenever uh, there is a short circuit, output will be zero. So that is the output waveform up to T by two. Next, when we apply the negative half cycle, per positive half cycle, the capacitor will be charged to maximum value of the input that is Vm. For the negative half cycle, this uh, capacitor voltage will be given to the output and this input voltage. So what we will get output as minus Vm plus Vn that also we have seen. right? When we apply Vn is equal to 0, we will get as minus Vm. When we have apply Vn is equal to minus Vm, we will get as minus 2Vm and so on. And if it is a practical diode, there will be a 0 0.7 voltage difference. So we will get, this is a, when it is on 0 0.7 volt, so it will be 0 0.72 minus 2Vm plus 0 0.7, right? So that you can draw on your own, something like this we will get. But when we apply sensor signal, the scenario is slightly changes, that is, up to this cycle that is 0 to Vm the capacitor charges and it will store plus minus Vm. The moment this Vn is decreasing from here the diode will be off. right? So when the diode is off whatever the input we are applying that will be goes to output with the capacitor voltage. So what we will get again here also same V out is equal to minus Vm plus Vn only but it is from t by 4. So up to t by 4, uh, the uh, quarter cycle, the output will be 0. Then after that, it will follow the input. See here, when Vn is equal to Vm, so minus Vm plus Vm, 0. 
next when v in is equal to 0 it will be minus vm when v in is equal to minus vm we will get minus 2 vm and so on so the waveform will start from here right so this is the unbiased negative clamper and if it is a practical diode so we will get point sun voltage extra so that is about the unbiased negative clamp now we will see the biased negative clamper so once we understand those concepts now it is very easy to analyze this biased negative clamper so only we will get the extra bias voltage so we can say reference voltage the analysis will be very simple as we have done for the clipper circuit that is we have to take this is as VA and this is as VK right and we know <coughs> when VA is greater than VK the diode D is on right when it is on if it is a ideal it will be replaced by a short circuit if it is a practical it will be replaced by a point sun voltage drop right but what is VA here now to find VA and VK open the diode so what is VA we will get simple so initially the capacitor will be uncharged so VA is simply V in and what is VK previous case VK was 0 now it is V reference first we will take the uh, variables later we will see the numerical values also now so that means to make the diode D on so we have to make V in should be greater than V ref so when it is like this the diode will be short circuit then that means the capacitor now starts charging through this path so this is the V reference so this is the V in so I am applying the positive half cycle right maximum is V m right now tell me what is V out right so <coughs> So V out is simply as V reference only if it is an ideal case but we need to find the capacitor voltage how much the capacitor will charge so maximum we can apply in positive half cycle is Vm so that means I can make it as here Vm so apply KVR so we will get minus Vm plus Vc plus V reference is equal to 0 now what is Vc Vc is Vm minus V reference if you observe in un unbiased native clamper V reference was 0 and we, we got only Vm now the moment we add some V reference now the capacitor charged to less value compared to the unbiased negative clamper right so this is the first case in the second case when we apply the negative half circuit the diode will be off very simple in the second case that is when V in is less than V reference that is VA less than V reference the diode D is off so simply open circuit so so plus minus VC and uh, to uh, what you call draw the waveform I what I am doing is I am taking as V in only but remember V in is less than V reference and the diode D is off so anyway there is a reference no problem at all and this is the V out so when it is open so don't need, no need to consider that path so directly apply KVL in this loop so this is minus V in plus VC plus V out is equal to 0 what is V out V out is equal to minus VC plus V in but what is VC we got VC is equal to VM minus V ref so minus of Vm so minus Vm plus V reference plus V in so this is the output equation now we can draw the output waveform so this is T this is the Vm minus Vm this is V in this is V out now here we need to assume some reference value so that reference can be positive and negative so if I take V reference as positive so somewhere here suppose this is some V reference I am taking as a positive so 
this is the first half cycle second half cycle now when we apply the positive half cycle what is the output we got so v, v out was v reference now so that is a v reference we will get so v reference next when we apply the negative half cycle what was the output equation we got v out is equal to minus vm plus v ref plus v in now when i apply v in is equal to 0 what i will get minus vm plus v reference so minus vm plus v reference and when i apply minus vm v in is equal to minus vm minus 2 vm plus v reference so minus 2 vm plus v ref and so on right so what was the difference previously this v reference was 0 so it will start from 0 minus vm minus 2m the moment we add some uh, bias voltage that is positive bias voltage so the waveform is shifting towards positive side right if v reference is negative it may go down also right so that will see with the example then it will be clear so this is the first example in biased negative clamper so here v reference is 2 volts now how to draw the output waveform of this circuit so the same approach so what is this va this is vk so va is equal to v in vk is equal to 2 volts so, so first mark where is the reference value 2 volt right now to make to make diode on so what we need to do see here va is equal to v in but vk is equal to 2 so we have to apply more than 2 volts to the anode so that means va should be greater than 2 volts that means v in should be greater than 2 volts then the diode d is on and it will be replaced by a short circuit right that means the capacitor now charges so but when v in is greater than 2 volt means what is the maximum voltage we can apply there is a 5 volt right so we can apply that 5 volt directly then this is the capacitor and the uh, diode is short circuited and this is the 2 volts so what is v out v out is equal to 2 volts because parallel voltages are same and what is the capacitance voltage so apply kvl minus 5 plus vc plus 2 is equal to 0 so what is the vc minus 5 plus 2 minus 3 if it is going that side 3 volts now the capacitor voltage is 3 volts the capacitor stores only 3 volts previously it was storing the 5 volts now it is storing only 3 volts that means the output voltage dc value will be 3 volts that anyway we will see when we draw the output waveform so this is the first condition so what is the second condition when v in is less than 2 volts so diode d will be off that means open circuit but capacitor is charged to how much voltage plus minus 3 volt it is already charged to this value and i am applying what v in only but it is less than 2 volt remember to draw the output waveform if you keep v in it will be very good otherwise we have to apply minus plus 5 volt then we will get v out is equal to some value then we, we need to draw the output waveform so this is open circuit 2 volts this is v out now if i apply kvl i will get the output waveform so minus v in plus 3 plus v out is equal to 0 so what is v out v out is equal to minus 3 plus v in. now see what is the dc value minus 3 volt because it is a negative clamper so the dc value will be minus 3 and remember whatever the capacitor stores that much amount of shift will be there it may be positive it may be negative now we can draw the output waveform very simple so we got first condition v out is equal to 2 volts second condition we got v out is equal to minus 3 plus v in so this is the v in suppose minus 5 plus 5 so where is the reference value this is the 2 volts this is this one so 
when v in is greater than these two volts what we got v out is equal to simply two volts but when v in is equal to zero using this expression we will get minus three so minus three this is two maximum how much v in is equal to minus five so minus five minus three we will get minus eight volt minus three two volts and it, it will be repeats right sorry this here up to here 2 volts and so on so this is the again it is a negative clamper only so it is shifting the input waveform towards negative side right or it is adding the negative dc level right and suppose if we take v reference as a negative value so how to draw the output waveform that also we will see this is the second example in a biased negative clamper and here i am taking v reference as negative value that is minus 3 volts so again the same procedure v a is equal to v in v k is equal to minus 3 volt so that means to make the diode d on so this is the d v a sh, v a should be greater than v k that is v in should be greater than minus 3 volt right so that means so first make it a reference value that is minus 3 volt so this total is the greater than the minus 3 only but how much we can apply the maximum that is 6 volts so, so we can apply that 6 volts see at t is equal to 0 we are applying directly 6 volts right whereas in sinusoidal waveform so we are applying this slowly so the capacitor slowly charges but here it will charges very quick to that 6 volts or 3 volts or 4 volts and so on so this is the capacitor so plus minus vc diode is on short circuit and this is minus 3 volt so plus minus v out so apply kvl minus 6 plus vc minus 3 is equal to 0 now what is vc now the vc is 9 volts right so when we apply the negative reference the capacitor stores more voltage compared to the positive reference value and the second condition when v in is less than minus 3 volt diode d will be off so but the capacitor voltage will be there because when the diode d is off there is no closed path as or no or we can say no discharge path so the capacitor stores that voltage indefinite time indefinitely and what we are applying v in but this is less than minus 3 volt this is minus 3 volts this is the v out now apply kvl to find the output equation minus v in plus 9 plus v out equal to 0 so what is v out minus 9 plus v in. now what is the dc value minus 9 and what is the capacitance value 9 volt so whatever the capacitor stores that much shift will be there now how to draw the output waveform very simple T minus 6 plus 6 V in and there is a minus 3 volts as a reference now see V out now what is the first condition we got yeah I forgot to mention V out is equal to here minus 3 volt so we get V out is equal to minus 3 volt first condition that is when diode d is on second condition v out is equal to minus 9 plus v in so so when v in is greater than this minus 3 volt diode d is on so v out is equal to minus 3 so minus 3 means where so here so this is the minus 3 volt right so when v in is equal to 0 what i will get minus 9 volt so it will goes to minus 9 volt and when v in is equal to minus 6 so minus 9 minus 6 so it will goes to minus 15 right and it will be repeats so again it is a negative clamper only right and what is the dc level minus 9 volt and uh, what is the peak to peak here minus 15 to minus 3 means peak to peak is 12 volts only and what is the input peak to peak it is also 12 volts so peak to peak will never change only the dc value will change so here what the dc value simply zero but here the dc value is minus 9 volts 
right so that is the clamper so it will add dc level to the input signal next i will analyze this circuit that is i am applying the sinusoidal signal and uh, here we have to assume the diode is practical that is vd on is 0.7 so analysis how to do so what is va and what is vk so here the bias voltage is 5 volts positive you can do for negative reference voltage also so what is va v in initially the capacitor is uncharged and what is vk 5 volts now to make diode d on va minus vk should be greater than 0 0.7 volt because it is a practical one but what is va v in minus 5 greater than 0 0.7 that means v in should be greater than 5.7 volt now is it possible here so the maximum voltage we are applying is 5 volt so that means the diode will never be on so when the diode is never on means what is the our conditions we will get see here this is the capacitor c and this is off and this is the 5 volt and this is the plus minus v in this is the v out now tell me what is the v out if you recall from the lecture 14 so i told you whenever there is a capacitor and ac signal so the capacitor will allow ac signal so we will get v out is equal to simply v in so no need to analyze the circuit so because the diode d will be never on so whatever we are applying that will goes to the output now what happens if i increase this 5 volt to 6 volts right so that uh, will become one more circuit so i will take this third circuit c diode d 5 volts v in this is v out now i am applying the sinusoidal signal i will take it as suppose minus 7 volt not 6 volts i will take 7 volts right this is v in now how to analyze this the same scenario the first condition that is v in should be greater than 5.7 volt because v a is equal to v in v k is equal to 5 volt so that means v a minus v k should be greater than 0 0.7 volt because it is a practical diode so yes there is a it is a v in is greater than 5.7 volt so so where is the 5.7 somewhere here so we have to apply this much so when i apply the maximum how much we can apply 7 volt so maximum i am applying 7 volt here so this is the capacitor plus minus vc when the diode d is on so it should be replaced by a 0 0.7 volt and this is 5 volt and this is the v out now what is v out minus 5 minus 0 0.7 plus v out so v out will be simply 5.7 volt but what is the capacitor voltage minus 7 plus vc plus 5.7 is equal to 0 so the capacitor stores 7 minus 5.7 so this will be 1.3 volts so that means the shift will be only 1.3 volts second condition very simple when v in is less than 5.7 volt d of so that means the circuit will be so i am taking plus minus v in only but v in is less than 5.7 volt and this is the how much it will store that is plus minus 1.3 volt and this is the open circuit 5 volt this is plus minus v out now what is this minus v in plus 1.3 plus v out is equal to 0 so what is v out minus 1.3 plus v in so this is about this one now we can draw the output waveform now we will draw the output waveform now see we have to observe very carefully if v in is equal to from 0 to 5.7 is, is the diode d will be on or off see here when v in is greater than 5.7 the diode d will be on 
but when vn is less than 5.7 the diode d will be off so that means from 0 to 5.7 the diode d will be off so that means the circuit will become like this see this is up to 5.7 the capacitor initially uncharged so 0 volt and this is the uh, I mean open circuit this is 5 volts now tell me what is V out so no, no voltage drop so directly 5.7 so output follows input up to where up to 5.7 why because from 0 to 5.7 the diode D is off when the diode D is off this is the circuit because the capacitor is initially uncharged now the moment when Vn is greater than 5.7 the diode D is on when the diode D is on what is V out 5.7 so the 5.7 will be maintained like this up to where up to maximum the 7 volt is reached now the moment the uh, input is decreasing from 7 so from 7 to 5.7 and so on the diode will be off right so when diode D is off, what was the equation we got? V out is equal to minus 1.3 plus V in. So remember, in the previous lecture, we have did the same thing. That is something like this. The capacitor is charged to how much? 1.3 volt. And I am applied plus minus 7 volt maximum. And this is the diode. This is the 5 volts. Now tell me what is this VA because the capacity is charged to so previously the capacity I mean the diode D was on and the capacity charged to 1.3 now tell me what is the VA minus 7 plus 1.3 so minus 7 plus 1.3 plus VA is equal to 0 so what is VA VA is 5.7 volt right but the VA should be greater than 5.7 so that means the diode D will be off so when the diode D will be off we will get the equation as something like this so that's why I told you if the signal is sinusoidal signal it is somewhat complex when we analyze the circuit right so we have to analyze the each and every point so when the diode D will be off if it is a square waveform very good positive half cycle negative half cycle so when the input signal is decreasing from the maximum value from that point the diode D will be off now apply this one so minus 1.3 plus maximum 7 so what you will get 5.7 then when Vn is equal to 0 so what we will get so at this point we will get directly minus 1.3 volts this is 0 this is 5.7 volt right so, okay at 5.7 what is the voltage we will get minus 1.3 plus 5.7 that is like this minus 1.3 plus 5.7 so which will be 4.4 so it will decrease from 5.7 so see at 5.7 it will be be 4.4 and so on the moment when Vn is equal to 0 it should reach it to minus 1.3 right and tell me what is the maximum it can reach minus 7 so minus 7 minus 1.3 how much you will get minus 8.3 volts so this will goes to minus 8.3 volts right so at this point we will get minus 8.3 and it will follows as it is right and so on so this is the output waveform now tell me what is the peak to peak minus 8.3 minus 5.7 so this will be 8 5 13 so minus 14 so if I take 5.7 to minus 8.3 so this will be 14 volt peak to peak so what was the input peak to peak 7 to minus 7 so 14 volts so here also 14 volts right so the peak to peak will not change only the DC level will change so in this case what is the DC level minus 1.3 so don't be confused go step by step at each point so from I mean 0 to 5.7 what is the value and so on right 
so this is about the biased negative clampers right and you can try on your own by applying the negative value so minus plus 5 volts and you can try to draw the output waveform so carefully go point by point next you will see this circuit so the input signal is again sinusoidal waveform but the input signal is containing some DC level so the input is starting from 2 and maximum is 7 volt minimum is minus 3 volts so what is the peak to peak again it is here 10 volts peak to peak but the input DC value here is now 2 volts right so this example will clear how the clamper is called DC restorer because it is already having some DC value now the clamper circuit will make the DC level 0 how we will see so the analysis will be same this is VA VK VA is equal to V in VK is equal to 5 volt now here I am assuming diode D is ideal so ideal means so when V in is greater than 5 volt D is on right so when it is on maximum how much we can give so somewhere here this is some 5 volts so when it is greater than so this is the maximum we can apply 7 volt right so and the capacity is here so it will just charge how much we'll see this is short circuit here 5 volt so first what is v out v out is 5 volt then if i apply kvl minus 7 plus vc plus 5 is equal to 0 so what is vc now this is 2 volts right that means there will be a shifting by 2 volts in the output waveform then second condition very simple when vn is less than 5 volt the diode d will be off not only 5 volt just now we have seen this is the maximum the moment it is i mean uh, decreasing from 7 the diode d will be off not only this one right so when it is off capacitor voltage is how much 2 volts and i am applying plus minus v in only less than 5 volt of 5 volt this is v out so what is v out minus v in plus 2 plus v out is equal to 0 so what is v out v out is equal to minus 2 plus v in. so that's it already there is a 2 now when we add minus 2 that will come down to 0 level so it will be shift towards 0 or ground level so that's why we can say the clamper is a DC restorer now how to draw the output waveform so this is the input waveform that is from minus 3 volt to 7 volt and here I marked from 2 to 5 volts then 5 to 7 volts then less than 7 volts and at V in is equal to 2 volts and V in is equal to minus 3 volts right so these are the conditions from 0 to 5 volts the diode D will be off so when it is off v out is equal to v in only right initially capacity is uncharged when it is on we got v out is equal to 5 volts that is something like this so when it is on v out is equal to 5 volts when it is off that is when v in is less than 7 volt so from here to here and so on the diode d will be off so in that case we got v out is equal to minus 2 plus v in right these are the three conditions so why it is off so this is the proof so when v in is less than 7 means i assume as 6 volts so when you apply the kvl because capacity is charged to 2 volts because previously it was on minus 6 plus 2 plus va is equal to 0 so what is va now minus 6 plus 2 minus 4 if it is going that side 4 volt but what was vk that is fixed to 5 volts now tell me va is greater than vk no so that means the diode D will be off for all other waveforms see from here to here and so on the diode D will be off now we can draw the output waveform see here so from 0 to 5 or 2 to 5 it will be follows as it is so something like this so this is starting 2 and what is the maximum it can reach 5 volts this is the 5 volts right see here 
so when it is charging also when the diode d is on also the v out is 5 volts so here so when the d is off so v out follows this equation minus 2 plus v in right again if v in is equal to 7 volts 7 minus 2 5 volt only right and uh, so, uh, suppose v in is equal to 5 volts so minus 2 plus 5 3 volts so 3 volts means so this point slowly discharges 3 volts next when v in is equal to 2 see here so this is v in is equal to 5 so i got 3 volts when v in is equal to 2 see this equation minus 2 plus 2 so it will be 0 so that means it will come down to 0 when v in is equal to 2 so this is the 0 right and when v in is equal to 0 this value see this minus 2 volts so it will goes to minus 2 then v in is equal to minus 3 so minus 2 minus 3 so it will goes to minus 5 so minus so here short i mean this is a uh, horizontal line and it will goes and it follows v in again right so maximum we can get 5 volts minimum minus 5 volt so initially there will be some sharpness see so it is following then it is a actually horizontal line then it will follows the input now tell me so it is from minus 5 to 5 right after the first half cycle it will be symmetrical uh, signal so from 0 to 5 and minus 5 so up to here so we'll get different signal because starting the diode d will be off so it will start from here only but later it will start from 0 and so on so now what is the peak to peak here 10 volts now what is the peak to peak of the input signal it is also 10 but here the dc level was 2 volts but in this case this is 5 this is minus 5 so what is the ground i mean uh, dc value this is the g so v out dc is now 0 so the clamper is restoring the dc level so previously it was 2 now it is became to 0 so it is restore the dc so that is about the negative clamper with a biasing right so there will be one more circuit so which is not uh, that complex so capacitor c this is a diode some v reference and uh, we can add the load resistance r the analysis everything will be same so we have to assume one condition that is this is the v in so if i apply square waveform 0 t by 2 t vm minus vm this is v in for a positive half cycle the diode d will be on capacitor charges right so that is something like this minus vm plus v so i am applying directly plus v reference is equal to 0 right and uh, what is vc vm minus v reference the circuit will be something like this plus minus vc diode d is on so simply v reference this is the resistance r this is i am applied maximum vm now what is v out the parallel all voltages will be same so v out is equal to v reference only as we have got for the first circuit but when we uh, make the diode reverse bias that is when we apply the negative half cycle that is minus plus vm the capacitor is charged to vm and the, this is the open circuit this is the v reference and there is a resistance r now the capacitor sees the path so it will try to discharge see this is the minus plus so it try to discharge through this so that's why this is the capacitor so if we assume this time constant r into c is very much greater than the half period of this uh, input waveform that is capital t by 2 so it will never discharge so i mean it is try to discharge but the time constant is very large so the moment it is uh, try to discharge so the next half cycle comes and so on so we'll get the output waveform as we got for this first circuit something like this right minus 2 vm minus vm okay i forgot 
this is start with v reference right plus v reference plus v reference so that we can analyze easily even though there is a resistance r so what we need to remember is the time constant rc should be greater than the half time period or we can say time period of the input signal right so this is about the biased negative clampers in the next lecture we will see the uh, positive clampers that is unbiased and biased if you understand this uh, negative clampers so it is just opposite so we have to reverse the diode that's it the analysis will be very everything will be same right you can try on your own also if you are having any doubt on this uh, biased negative clamper you can post a comment so that uh, we can discuss